Today we're going to look at my existing furnace before I get it replaced with the ground source heat pump. There it is. It's a uh, it's an older furnace but not the oldest that it, that's in existence. It uh, has fairly low efficiency. That right there is where the air conditioner heat coil used to be. I've had that removed. Um, we've never used it in the two, three years we've been in the house and um, with the ground source heat pump we won't need an air conditioner because it will come with it. So this is the, uh, the coil. This is for heat exchange. The air would flow upwards towards the camera here uh, from the blower underneath and uh, refrigerant would pass through those copper pipes. Back to the furnace. The efficiency of this particular model isn't so hot. It's 80 uh, annual fuel utilization efficiency. This chart starts at 78, so it's pretty much on the low end, and way over here on this end is the uh, high efficiency furnaces. It's natural gas. <coughs> you can see it getting plumbed in, and uh, over to this side is where the uh, natural gas hot water tank is. That will also be replaced with a larger electric hot water tank that, uh, that the ground source heat pump furnace will supplementally heat. This is the exhaust coming out of the furnace goes over that way, joins with the hot air, uh, the hot exhaust from the hot water tank and passes up through chimney stack. Um, you're probably wondering what the heck this thing is. This is uh, my own uh, home job uh, heat exchanger. Um, it's basically um, piping over piping, it's just aluminum. Um, cold air intake comes in from here all the way from outside right there and um, because as the furnace vents its exhaust it needs to draw in cold air to replace it so the cold air comes up through here after it passes over this hot metal um, in the winter when the furnace is on a heavier duty cycle that metal gets uh, too hot to touch and will actually uh, sizzle water if it comes in contact with it so this will cool down the uh, minus 20, minus 30, minus 40 degrees celsius air from outside and at least warm it up to something a little bit better anyway it's a home job heat exchanger as I said, the uh, ground source heat pump, once it comes in, will be coming in through that hole right there. We're going to take out the, co the cold air intake. A ground source heat pump, like an electric furnace, does not need uh, an exhaust, so it does not need a cold air intake, um, even further improving its efficiency. So the uh, copper pipes from the heat exchangers that are buried 100 feet in the ground will come in through there and meet up with uh, the furnace once it uh, goes in.